The death of a Boeing whistleblower has left investigators grappling with unanswered questions. On March 9th, police discovered John Barnett's body in a Charleston, South Carolina hotel parking lot with a reported gunshot wound. Despite a coroner's verdict of a self-inflicted gunshot wound, a close friend identified only as Jennifer by ABC News 4 says she doubts the coroner's findings. Before his death, Jennifer claims Barnett told her, if anything happens to me, it's not suicide. Jennifer remains adamant, saying, I know he did not commit suicide. There's no way. Barnett accused Boeing of using substandard parts in airplane construction. However, Boeing refuted his claims. Jennifer said she believes someone aimed to silence Barnett and staged a cover-up to make his death look like a suicide. While Boeing expressed condolences over Barnett's death, Barnett's attorneys say there is no indication he would have taken his own life. His lawyers said Barnett was nearing the end of a deposition involving a whistleblower retaliation case against Boeing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Boeing is facing mounting criticism with several reported incidents involving its planes. The latest, a Latam Airlines flight attendant's accidental activation of a cockpit seat switch on a 787 Dreamliner, causing a sudden descent. Around 50 passengers were hurt on the Sydney to Auckland flight. Boeing issued a memo advising Dreamliner operators to inspect cockpit seat switches. The investigation into the flight is ongoing.